Good morning, high water dwellers. High water pirate radio keeping you in the know with our flow. Overville authorities continue to deny that they will close their borders despite several key entry ports being permanently sealed off from the inside. They also deny that aid has been halted and stress that delivery of humanitarian supplies to affected areas outside of the city will resume once an unforeseen... supply chain issue has been resolved. Offerville Central Command also issued the statement to the public that there is enough food for decades ahead and not to worry about these inconsequential delays. True or not, one thing that can't be denied is that the world ended on a sunny day.
Bywater Pirate Radio, your anchor in reality.
To all you high water dwellers out there, High Water Pirate Radio here with a friendly reminder to stop using raw flood water for daily use. Please get your water from a known safe source or boil your water for at least one minute before drinking, cooking, washing fruit and vegetables or even brushing your teeth. Remember, medical supplies are running low and even a mild bout of the runs in this heat could be deadly. With no vaccine, it's dysentery. Speaking of washing and prepping, survival tip of the day Lemongrass is thriving in our new tropical conditions and is not only a great natural deterrent to mosquitoes and other bugs, it also tastes great as a tea or added to food for flavor. Take care out there, stay afloat.
dialed into High Water Pirate Radio.
Your eye in the sky, with the where and the why. High Water Pirate Radio. Reports of conflicts between insurgents and Alphaville are increasing as aid continues to dry up. Ambushes as close as five clicks east of High Tower have been reported, and dwellers are urged to keep an eye out for both sides, as both soldiers and insurgents are preying on civilians for resources.
Wherever you are, whoever you're with, remember we're in this together and life goes on as always. You're listening to High Water Pirate Radio.
Highwater Pirate Radio, your anchor in reality. Despite assurances that the borders are not closing, Alphaville has started using live ammunition to push back large groups of people trying to enter the city through the last remaining open ports. Eyewitnesses report that not only people with verified documents are being turned away at the gates, 
but several accounts tell of returning Alpha 4 outpost guards being turned away too. It is becoming increasingly obvious that Alphaville is no longer accepting anyone into the city, even their own guards. So folks, it seems Alphaville is a no-go zone for now, unless you like a head full of lead. I'd recommend staying far away. How about some chill tunes to take the edge off the world and the heat?
Top up with your daily Top up with your daily fuel of news and views from High Water Pirate Radio. A friendly reminder that water can also be chemically contaminated. Strange odors and colors can be a sign that it is not safe to consume and boiling it will not make it safe to drink. In that regard, be mindful of where you collect water, especially due to skirmishes breaking out in and around the AP gas region. Things are getting volatile out there. You're listening to HBR, High Water Pirate Radio, your daily fix of music and news. Six shoes and a haircut from France. A German jawline and from Greece. Will I ever feed your wet kids? I yearn for your body.
Surrounded by friends, music and art. So we never forget the things we want. I yearn for your body. around town. You're listening to High Water Pirate Radio.
Get down with news from around town, High Water Pirate Radio. Well, shopping definitely isn't what it used to be. Remember when getting food didn't risk a bullet in the face? Well, times have changed. And ongoing fighting in the third world organic grocery means if you're headed in that direction, keep your head down and be safe.
music, news, and interviews. Keeping cool with High Water Pirate Radio. And now I... Hightower and we're talking to one of its most famous dwellers, Nana, who takes care of almost 50 kids who are left without parents or caretakers. Hi Nana, what's the situation in Hightower? It's grim. Without alphaville aid, it's becoming tough to survive. We have a system for distilling water, fishing, scavenging mushrooms, snails. We grow our own food on rooftops, but it's not enough. Also, without any medical supplies, people are just called coke. A lot of people died in the past couple of weeks. It's Yes, times are grim indeed, but you're a shining light, Nana. You run a kind of orphanage, don't you? How do you manage? These are all my kids. Most are from Hightower, but many came from the war zone, from Bettenberg, Neopolis, all over the place. We're one happy family. We have a local teacher, and the kids seem to be doing better than the adults, mentally and health-wise. So great to hear some positive news in these trying times. Thank you, Nana. Music and news for the mind.
Reaching out from HPR to give you a heads up that resources are becoming increasingly stretched. But some islands still have a great selection of edible fauna and flora, if you can bear it. Getting down with news around town. You're tuned to Highwater Pirate Radio. The sound you hear is me sloping Suzuki-san's wonderful fish ramen in Hightower. Drop by and say hi. This neighborhood is managing to service with local joints like the Blind Bard, Walter and Daughters, Nana's Orphanage, and of course, Radioactive Ramen. Oh, <laughs> very good, very good, very good.
Thank you. 
Pirate Radio. Insurgents are becoming increasingly brazen with their incursions against Alphaville, who have escalated their retaliations in response. The insurgents are not to be trusted and are actively seizing civilian boats and press ganging dwellers into their cause. Be vigilant out there.
music, news, and interviews. You're tuned to I Water Pirate Radio. I'm currently in Hightower High, sitting in on a lecture by the prof, who is currently reading Homer. Let's listen in. When your crew have taken you past these sirens, I cannot give you coherent directions as to which of two courses you are to take. I will lay the two alternatives before you, and you must consider them for yourself. On the one hand, there are some overhang. Thank you. 
miles away on newly developed high-tech grain silos due to come online shortly. They go on to say this explains the halt of aid outside the city as they've been redirecting resources to these new distribution towers to streamline food and service delivery. Critics have wryly questioned why grain silos require millions of tons of rocket fuel to operate, but Alphaville has officially made no comment to these observations. Either way, something's up in Alphaville. Stay tuned to HPR to find out what. Your eye in the sky with the where and the why. High Water Pirate Radio. Like fire flies bombs. Fly like moths. The relevant die. Co-isolated minds go insane Mind numbing to alleviate pain The weak like waste forgotten I guess we're all rotten Rotten, rotten, rotten Surplus is our only lord People are bought and sold I just wanna say
Nice feet. Keeping you in the know with our flow. High Water Pirate Radio.
Here we are in the Greek neighborhood. Xenia, the youngest of the Papa Nikolaou family, is well known for her voice. Here she is performing for us. <laughs> Thank you, Xenia. Beautiful. Listeners of this program know High Water Pirate Radio loves coffee. And thankfully, a main supporter of this channel is Bettenberg Beans. You all know what I think about the awful sludge they peddle at Starbean. Mighty water, if you ask me. Call me a purist, call me a snob. There's nothing better than a shot and a shot and a shot and a shot of BB Espresso at Jean-Luc's Café in Terminal 1 of the former Alphaville Airport. Yes, 8th wave airport coffee at its finest. High Water Pirate Radio, your anchor in reality.
the flow. High water pirate radio. She moves from the sea to the shipwreck she took me. Craving, I followed her skin under the blue. Into darkness, cold water made me swim. Freezing in the night, I fought her black man under the full She swam all the way to me like a fish, still a boy. Come here, grab me my way. But I had nowhere to hide. She said, I want to make love to you. And I had nowhere to hide. I replied, teach me to die, teach me to die. Music news and interviews. You're tuned to High Water Pirate Radio. So I managed to catch up with General Frankenheimer himself. You heard it here first, folks. General Frankenheimer, sir, excuse me, General, sir, just one question. Why aren't you boarding the rocket, son? Uh, what do you want? I'm in a hurry. Uh, sure. Can you tell our listeners more about Alphaville's policy to shoot down boats attempting to cross the dam into the city? What are you, an independent journalist? We're in the midst of the most challenging technological feat in the history of humanity. We're moving to Mars. I can't allow for random, desperate people to swarm around and infiltrate the Hope mission. We're in a state of war. 
with insurgents, with other nations, and with nature itself. What if an insurgent wants to sabotage our mission? What if someone brings in a virus from all those flooded regions? It would jeopardize our mission. So quit whining. Get your ass into the rocket and be grateful for the chance to start a new life on Mars. Gerald Frogenham is busy, man. Yes, leave now. Ah, yes, of course. Thank you, sir. This world is here to stay. There's this fetish of depression. Chests are full of resignations. Don't trust the high, it goes away.
Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Let's hear from someone who used to sail for fun and not necessity, if you can imagine that. A true sailor shares some of his thoughts with us. I'm a sailor. A gourmand, an adventurer. So being simply alive is not enough to count as living. I was in Montenegro, and a life was good. I gave sailing lessons to my young women. Docked in cozy bays to swim. Mm, paradise. A woman with a kitsch gold chain approached me, asked if I was a skipper. We made small talk. She didn't really care about sailing or the maritime history of the Adriatic. But I ended up giving her sailing lessons anyway. One thing led to another, and she would visit me in Montenegro all the time. Then one day, she told me the world is coming to an end. I thought she was being a bit overdramatic, but she explained that her ex-husband had two tickets for her to board the rocket to Mars. Well, I thought, this tycoon must be a very nice guy to pay some random dude to sleep with his ex-wife on Mars. I'm not sure. I'm kind of suspicious that they're really going to Mars. But here I am. Tickets in hand, waiting to see what happens. Hmm. I wonder if those rumors about rockets leaving for Mars are actually true. Stay tuned for more info right here on Highwater Pirate Radio. Thank you for the story, Captain. Some people have all the luck, don't they? Highwater Pirate Radio, your anchor in reality. According to Alphaville Security, only one person managed to enter Alphaville illegally in the past month. But the actual figures are rumored to be much higher. Immigration bots are on high alert, and in the past week alone, there have been over 400 casualties outside of the walls of Elfenburg. Mostly families trying to enter the city. It's grim out there, people. Keep your wits about you, and stay away from Elfenburg. There's flooding on the highway to Elfenburg.
Good night to all you dwellers out there. As this day draws to a close. We're no longer safe.